Nissa Ravane. She's come a long, long way. Originally, she was just the figure on the box of the original Duels of the Planeswalkers. And we were like, who is this? I guess someday we'll have to figure it out. Uh, and she's gone on to become a really exciting character. And the neat thing about Magic Origins is you really get a sense of learning who Nissa Ravane is. Nissa starts off her, or her origin story uh, with a vision. And it's basically that there's this big dark spot and she can't figure it out. Something evil, something terrible. So she sets off on her own. Um, and she's going to, she's determined to figure out what these visions are and why, why they're plaguing her. And if there's anything she can do to stop this darkness, to stop this evil from following her, she's, she wants to do it. Um, she doesn't get too far off when she has another vision, but this time it takes a twist. This time the vision sort of embraces her, and it's sort of like that feeling of like magic swirling around and her hair flies up in the air, and um, there's really cool art of it, and she, she really for the first time feels Zendikar's soul in that moment. And it's like a rush of understanding and oh, all this time, all this time that she's been so scared of these visions, they've really been Zendikar reaching out for her and, and trying to talk to her. This whole time it's been trying to tell her that there is a darkness, there's an evil in the land, and it's asking her for help. So in telling the story of the five planeswalkers and the, the ten planes that they visited sort of early in their planeswalking uh, careers, we tried to create some cards that mechanically harken back to the, the planes that we've seen before. So Zendikar's Royal is an enchantment. Uh, well, when you play a land, you get a 2-2 elemental. And both the action of playing a land to trigger an ability um, in Zendikar that was called the landfall mechanic and uh, creating elemental creatures. Those are two things that players associate very closely with the plane of Zendikar. And so it's kind of this nice package that just points you right back to, to sort of what you've seen before. And if you played back then, it kind of makes you feel at home. A fantastic psychological dynamic of the Origins Planeswalkers is that they are terrifying for your opponent. They show up on the board, and they don't flip quite yet. Your opponent knows, oh, that's coming. And you're building towards it, you're building towards it. Nissa can be the slowest in that regard. She can come out on turn three, maybe turn two with, with fast mana, and, but isn't going to flip over for many, many more turns. She's waiting, she's waiting, she's waiting. Or you can wait until you already have six or seven lands on the board, play her, flip her immediately. So with uh, Nissa's Transform Planeswalker state, we actually had the opportunity to do something that we weren't able to do with Liliana's creature card, which was once we flip to the other side of the card, we have a little bit more space to tell a little bit more story. Uh, we haven't made very many legendary tokens. We've done it a few times in the past. Uh, it, it serves both a story component, you know, uh, it has a story purpose in that here's this character that we can showcase, but also a developmental purpose in that we can make this a very powerful token because you're never going to have two of them on the battlefield at once. You know, there's no way that this could be just a 4-4 four, four non-legendary token given all of the other numbers being the same on the card because it would be too powerful and Nissa would be busted and everyone would play Nissa and no one would play anything else. One of the things we wanted to do when we were building the set is we wanted to make sure that the character had a role and did something before they left you know, on their home plane, and they did something different when they went to the new plane, like they visit for the first time. So like Nissa is a good example. When Nissa's at home, when Nissa's on Zendikar, you know, we assign each one an archetype. So that was the red-green archetype. It was very land-based. We are in Zendikar. But then she travels to Lorwyn, and it had to be different. So then she shifts over to a black-green archetype that's about elves. So that each part of her, like each part of her journey got to be a different kind of deck. Dwynen is uh, the pack leader of the elves on Lorwyn, and she is most interested in making the plane the most beautiful that it could be. And so she is dead set on eliminating eye blights and purifying in her vision, making Lorwyn beautiful as beauty, beauty is interpreted through her eyes. Yeah, finding the right spot for an elf lord was difficult. We have a lot of three mana elf lords, and so we know we didn't want something quite there. Uh, we also know we didn't have a ton of elves running around standard. There were some in M15, uh, obviously there will be some in Zendikar, but uh, Khan's block not having a lot of elves meant that we needed this elf to be a little more than just a lord. We needed this elf to be kind of a sizable enough creature by itself 
that it was close enough to seeing play without just pumping up all your elves. One of my favorite things about Nyssa is that while she is incredibly powerful, she is equally as compassionate. And from the smallest to the largest of life, she cares about everything, and she treads with care. So some people think of Magic Origins as being the last, the last course deck. But I don't think of that at all. I think Magic Origins as being the beginning, the start of something new, that we are starting a brand new era of magic. Two blocks a year. We're gonna start telling a story on a scale you've never seen before, and that this all starts right now. It starts with Magic Origins. Like, take Nyssa as an example. We have Nyssa. Like, in her origin story, you saw that she was the first person to realize that the Eldrazi were there. And that throughout Nyssa's whole life, there's been a story of Nyssa and the Eldrazi. Well, guess what? The very next set, we're going to watch Nyssa in Zendikar finally dealing with the Eldrazi.